It all began with poems and short stories in school, but then I thought, why not become a filmmaker? That would be a cool conversation icebreaker. But friends and teachers thought I was a fool. I left my home, leaving all that negativity behind. But soon after, I met people doubting me again. I made my decision then and there to grind. And it didn't take very long to find my Zen. Let me first address the nine points of this exam before we reach to the really good bit, my jam. One, <laughs> deadlines. I have always submitted my work on time, no matter if days or minutes before the deadline. Two, creative contribution. Once I contributed so much that it got odd because the guys literally started worshiping me as their god. <laughs> Sorry, god. Three, follow editorial brief. I can follow orders and instructions very well. Just like how I assemble IKEA shelves by myself. <laughs> Four, different roles in the industry. This course gave me a view from a skyscraper, revealing me a world bigger than just the pen and paper. Now, I don't want to be just a writer, but something more, a storyteller. Making movies in Hollywood or making videos inside my cellar. Five, awareness of financial implications. I've always had money at the back of my mind because I plan, barter my skills and have the budget outline. Six, take responsibility for rewriting. Responsibility is scary, but I'm willing to take it. I cannot attach my name to a script that's unfit. Seven, scripts in the right format. Form and structure, I was taught for good two years. I can write a well-formatted script even after a few beers. <laughs> Eight, personal attributes for the role. Not to sound cocky, but I do believe that I'm skilled. I'm not the best, but I strive to be a specialist in my field. I enjoy encouraging and making others smile. I value honesty a lot. I'm curious and not scared to reveal to others what I've got. Nine, teamwork. As an introvert, I enjoy listening to other people. Um, and I'm quite chill. I get along with people well and helping others gives me thrill. And now, let me explain what I've done in the past two years. Freelance, charitable and coursework with my peers. Year one, I knew zero about the craft. But at the end, I got out of the shaft of my little understanding of writing and certain things became exciting. I was hired by the uni to film and edit a video. Camera and sound hello, self-doubt, cheerio. <laughs> the project opened the door for me. Sustainability videos I made, you see. The media lab wanted me on their team. Out of nowhere, I thought it was a dream. I pinched myself and there I was, year two. Screenwriting was the thing I wanted to do. I was exposed to the fascinating radio drama. I got to write a sitcom, I saw the full gamma. The, but then, my biggest projects appear on the horizon. Animated biology videos for children to enlighten and a documentary about my Macedonian trip, which turned out to be a very long video clip. <laughs> I filmed blind people playing golf for a charity. That was definitely a sight of great rarity. <laughs> also, I was asked to be a groomsman, such a blessing, and I managed that while I was filming the whole wedding. <laughs> and here I am now, year three, saying what I've done, listing things which brought me so much fun. Worcester had given me so many great friends. Worcester had given me so much experiences. Worcester had opened my eyes to things so great. I was meant to be here. That was my fate. Now, my future is still yet to be written. By the optimistic book I've been bitten. Choices I will have to make. And my pit of bread to bake. That's Bulgarian saying. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to say what I really want to do, I don't know yet, but I might have a clue. I'm willing to try different things and see where I really shine. And that's how I'll find my career, that will be the sign. I can write and I can edit, I can film and I can cut, I can speak and I can translate, but my future is still a white slate. Thank you.